Good morning! Good morning! It's Leela and Elle. Happy Friday! Happy Friday! More like it! I'm gonna invite Elle on and I want to ask you, how are you doing today? <laughs> if you're doing awesome, give me a little heart. I'm gonna give you a little heart back right now. The lighting on my face looks interesting. I don't know what's going on. Hmm, it's a little strange today. Hey Elle, hey everybody, good to see you. So we're gonna do some movement today. We're gonna get present today. I wanna ask you how many people feel like you have ADD? Because it's just, you're, you're not able to stay focused. You're not able to, hey girl. Hi, good morning. Oh, I love seeing you. I Doesn't the lighting look a little funny? Is something on my face today? No, it looks a little funny. It's a little... Um, I'm a China doll. <laughs> I'm a China doll. I don't know, on this end, I have a new cam or a new, phone right uh -huh. and on this one it looks like i don't know it looks a little weird it looks red huh. it's super red does it look red on your end uh yeah. your face looks red too actually on my camera so it might just be the, it might be the screen yeah no you you don't look red so yeah it looks red you're you're you look a little bit actually like a little rudolph <laughs> i'm not kidding i think it's the new camera <gasps> whatever good morning baby i'm so good glad morning. you're here i'm glad to be so here glad. too and I have a nice topic I want us to talk about because it's something you've really taught me a lot about. Um, and, and I want to spin it two ways, holding space for someone and also giving space to someone because that's really what I've been experiencing the past week. Um, okay, so I love it because I just mentioned presence. So that's what I was, that's exactly what, it, like before I got, before you hopped on, I was like, you know, we're going to talk about presence today. Yeah. <laughs> Well, really, that's what it's about. If presence yeah. is about space, is about knowing that this is the space, this is the time, this is the only opportunity within which we have the ability to connect with others, to support others, the ability to bring in more for ourselves, to support ourselves. It only happens in the now. It doesn't happen in any other time. And it's when we're not in the now, when we're thinking about what happened in the past with that person so we don't hold space for them mm -hmm. or thinking about what we have to do tomorrow so we don't stay with ourselves today carla good says carla. good morning ladies blessings happy friday thank you for being here with Elle and i Elle is a high performance coach she has a very special method called the pressure free method that helps people reduce stress hormones and other uh, and other uh, chemicals in your body when you're triggered from things like being cut off in traffic or somebody saying something to you or you hit your elbow on the door <laughs> or that worry, that worry that you have. She's the one who helps people uh, reduce or totally get rid of and or move towards totally getting rid of stress hormones and other chemicals in your body that are going to harm you over time. Beautiful. So good. So yummy, girl. I love what you do. So thank you for being here. <gasps> Absolutely. Uh Carla says, happy Friday. I love being pressure-free, Elle, with yeah. kisses and hearts. Gosh, Carla worked with me a few years ago, so that's beautiful, honey. I love you. <laughs> that's so cool. So what I would love today to do is we're going to do some movement. We're just going to get flowing because I've got to hop off the call. I've got to call at the top of the hour, so I want to give you as much <laughs> as I can All right. while we're together, okay? All right, so All right. I'm going to try to see if I can... Angle this, maybe pull it down just a bit. Okay. I'm gonna have to push mine forward so you can see more of me here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we're gonna do the little walk around the clock. Okay. Okay, so if anybody's out there watching now or later and you have the opportunity to stand up like L, go ahead and do so. And when I say walk around the clock, you're gonna keep one leg in the middle and then basically you're going to take the other leg and touch back with your foot to, um, you know, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So just the four spots on the clock. Bring your hands. We're going to do Hercules class this morning. Touch your fingertips together. Touch your thumbs to your index finger knuckle on both sides. Lift your elbows so that your side ribs are open. Beautiful. Now squeeze the base of your palms to engage your arms. 
Did you see that? That came from the base of my palms. Here's not base of my palms. So that all came from my hands. You'll see the engagement there in the arm. Mm -hmm. Push your rib cage back and your elbows forward. Okay. So you have nice and open in your heart. Bend your knees, put your toes down towards the earth. Your heels energetically pull back to pull your glutes back and up. Okay. Now keep your left foot where it is. Send your left hip wide. Hover your right heel. Drag your right heel back when you lift right foot up. Hollow ankle. Yeah. Lift the back of your heart up. Little bicycles. Both knees stay bent. Back of your heart stays lifted. Step wide, 3 o'clock. But little pulses, hips go back, heart goes up. So it's like an S curve, back and up. Yeah. Even getting your head in the game to lengthen your belly. Keep now in the left foot, toes down, left hip, parallel park, left hip wide. Dig right, drag right. Step back, 6 o'clock. Hover both heels. Pause. Keep your heels hovering. Both knees forward, hips back. Little pulses up and down. Nice and slow. Keep your toes down. It's more about the integrity of the form than how many pulses you get in. Lower your left heel, keep your hips back, drag your right heel back as you step forward, now 12 o'clock. Touch, both heels hover, yeah, beautiful, couple pulses, then lower left heel from your left hip, left hip goes back. So glutes first, base glutes, send the hips back, come back to center, and then that's zigzag now. We're going to zigzag back to 9 o'clock. So we did a little different, changing it up. There you go. Pulse. Awesome. Keep your toes down. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Pubic bone back. There you go. Now keep your left toes down. Left hip. Keep it wide as your right foot comes back, earth pose. And release. How was that? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. So this is a really, I want to ask you now, how do you feel in terms of your presence, your body? Do you feel like you're more in the moment? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's... The thing about the bowspring is, I mean, when you say dig, we're digging the toe, the toe mounds and pads are down, you know, and then we're dragging, you know, everything is so intentional. So you have to get into thinking about your body, not all the thoughts in your head. So, yeah, I love that. It's the thoughts in your head that uh, drive you crazy, right? Get us out of our present moment, make us not so you know, get what we want in life, be nice, all that kind of stuff. So let's yep. do the other side. Okay. And I want to remind you, because it's something you said, that, and I'll tell everybody too, that dig is, it's the top of the foot as if you were, like, kicking a soccer ball. Uh-huh. And then the drag is as if you were kicking a soccer ball the other way with your heel. Yeah. So that's a nice way to think about it, I think, as if yeah. you were. And when you're really, when you're fully engaged and thinking about it, like you will feel the changes in your muscles. You will feel the change in your hips. You'll feel the change in your glutes. You know, I've been working really hard on this. Like every day I do bowspring. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to let everybody know that Elle told me, I think, like two days ago, she said, I have got to send you pictures of my body. 
<laughs> and I'm going to tell you what, I don't know very many 55 year old women who are going to call some friend and be like, girl, I need to show you my body, but we can because that's how good this stuff is. Yeah, it's true. It's true. All right, let's do the other side. You got a butt now. <laughs> Get your booty on. Get your booty on. I'll tell you what, it's not just about the, it's, everybody who's watching later laughing at us, it's not just about getting your booty from a perspective of looking good. No. It protects your little back. Yes. It makes you feel grounded. It makes you actually stronger to move forward in life. Mm -hmm. It opens up your digestive system. I mean, there's, we could go on and on and, and on. For me personally, I have a broken vertebrae and I have what's feet, hip dysplasia like a German shepherd. I'm a tall woman and I birthed my babies late. So um, Bowspring has completely um, provided me with the stability I need in, in my back. I've always done a lot of core work, but this is totally different and it rocks. So good. Woo! This is totally different and it rocks. But I'm, I'm going to quote you on that. Okay. Quote me. I love it. <laughs> okay, so switch so that your fingers here are the other way. Okay. Yeah, open up the palms of your hands now so they're soft. So we don't want to squeeze tight because that causes tension in the arms and back. So you open, soften your back. Let your back ribs open up wide. So if you're tense, the shoulders will go back. And if you're open in the palms of your hands are a reflection. Hello, thank you for the hearts. Good morning. Um, uh, hey, Laramie, so good to see you. Hey, King Waka, so good, uh, so good to see you. So your palms of your hands are a reflection of the, of the radiance of your heart. So the more flat the hand, the heart might feel flatter. The more hollow your hand, the more open your heart can feel. How fascinating is that? Keep your elbows up to keep your side ribs open. We keep the side ribs open because that's the space where the sun doesn't shine very often. It's quite tight, and, and there's a lot of opportunity to create space for the ribs and breath and also around your heart. Come to earth pose, right foot, toes down. Yeah. Right heel energetically pulls back, so your glutes pull back. Send your right hip wide, right femur bone wide. Good. So that's the base that you want to keep the whole time. Keep okay. revisiting that standing leg. Okay. Femur bone pushes down to the hamstring. And then dig your left foot, which means the top of your foot pushes down like you're going to kick a soccer ball. Drag your left heel back like you're going to pull a soccer ball back. Lift your left foot. Little bicycles. Both knees bending. Beautiful. Back of your heart lifts up from your ribs. Expansion. Step wide, nine o'clock, toes. Beautiful, I love how you kept your head up the whole time. Everybody, I want you to see how she kept her head up. Little pulses, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, she didn't look down to look over. I was gonna catch her too, I was watching friends. Oh, I was trying to catch her. She didn't do it, I was gonna say like, look up. She looked up the whole time. She's a good student, I'll tell you what. All right. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do a little different here. Hover your heels, pull your heels in towards each other, but don't close your sits bones off. Keep your sits bones wide and back, even as you pull your heels in. Okay. Good, toes down, heart up. Little pulses. Keep your pelvic floor open, sits bones wide, pubic bone down, and then Heels back, hover, lower your right heel, right hip goes wide, dig left, top of your foot goes down and forward, look up, drag left, watch your tongue, open your mouth, good, step back, toes, mounds, hover both heels and pause, feel your hips lower and your heart rise. Yeah, beautiful. Little pulses. Top of your head keeps your back lifted up. Squeeze the base of your palms. Lower your right heel. Right hip wide. 
Step forward, left toes, hover both heels, dig both feet, drag both heels. Little pulses. Keep the rootedness even as your heart rises. So this is massive presence. There's no way you can be thinking about your cheeseburger for dinner, friends. <laughs> There's no way you can be thinking about what your friend said to you that didn't feel good. There's no way you can be thinking about, oh my gosh, what's my purpose here? Because you're fully in your body. Lower your right heel. Send your sits bones back first. Lead with your hips. Walk okay. back from your hips. Start leading backwards with your booty, girl. All right. Lead the way with your booty. Zigzag legs. Three o'clock. And then toes stay down. Squeeze your inner thighs so your pubis goes back and pulse. Nice and easy. Lift your heart even as your hips go back. That's how you get that long, strong belly. Glutes back, ribs up. Two things at one time is why this is such presence, why you can hold space. We're going to talk about that here in a second. Keep your right toes down, right hip. Right hip stays wide even as your left foot comes forward to earth pose. Boom. That was amazing, girlfriend. High five. All right, let's do one more. We're going to do a little, a little twist for you. Okay. Wide leg stance, toes, mouths. Bend over. Hover both heels to lift your glutes up. Then keep your toes down. You can lower your heels or keep them hovering, whichever you want. Okay. Top your head far away from your hips and twist your right shoulder forward. And then pulse your hips up and down, up and down. Keep your arms straight the whole time. Arms straight. That right arm. Okay. That left arm, I mean. Yeah. And then look over your left shoulder. Keep your hips pulling back, your head going forward for a twist the opposite way. You're twisting at your low ribs. Once you get in the twist, pulse. A little more gaze over your shoulder. And then come to center. Back heart lifts up. Seat hands touch. Hercules clasp. And then walk in. Beautiful. How do you feel? Good. Mm. So for those of us who are doing it with you, it is a cardio workout. My heart is pumping. <laughs> Good morning, Loretta. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Hey, Loretta. Good to see you. So um, this is a practice of deep presence. I feel really good right now. I feel... Um, a lot more, pre like, we'll, we'll, call, we'll use the word uh, calm. Everybody, I think, can, knows what it feels like to feel energized yet calm. It's like, like my heart's beating, but I feel very with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I also feel because you work the fingers, the palms, the feet, the heel, you're working everything, so you have a lot of presence in your whole body. It's not like you're just doing bicep curls. Like every part of your body is specifically engaged in a certain way when you study the bowspring. That's why I think it's really important to study it with someone, you know, to yeah. learn it with someone because um, it's really cool. I mean, when I got to come out to Denver and, and you worked with me, like hands on, no, your ribs have to be this lifted. You know, I go back to those lessons in my mind so that I feel this rib lift up away from my hips, you know, so it's cool. Beautiful. It's really cool. Oh, I know. It just inspires me so much. Like I'd really, you know, I love, um, I'll be hosting a retreat later this year 
And so anybody that wants to come, it like Elle said, there's nothing. Yeah, Elle will be there. There's nothing like, and I want to actually do a lot more hands-on stuff, a lot more partner stuff um, there at the retreat. We're going to do an, an extra day, um, a four-day and three-day. Yeah, it, there's just not, we need more time. We need more space together to be able to work with each other. And so that's, do you remember at the retreat how we, there was a, a little bit where we touched each other and worked with each other? Yeah, yeah, getting up and getting down from the floor. You know, that's the other yep. thing. These are things that you will use in your life as you move through your day how you sit, how you walk, how you get up from the floor. That's what, yeah, that was a great exercise. Loved it. Yeah. So what, yeah, I want to do more of that. I love what you're bringing forward. I used to teach um, classes here for two years in Denver. And now I do, you know, now I do everything online. I still do free classes a lot at the park in the summer. I'll, I'll offer free classes in the park. Um, but one thing that people liked about my classes was that we, I, did, I always did partner stuff. I always, so we were touching each other. And this is really, I think, what we're talking about in terms of holding space for somebody. It's very important, too, in terms of, like, you know, physically holding space for them, you know, by touching them, holding, you know, hugging them. But then also, like, giving them space physically yeah. <laughs> if they need it. Lorraine, I wish, Lorraine said, I wish I lived closer. Girl, I would, we would be, I mean, I wish all my, all my women from all over the world lived so close because, we would be like, oh my God, both bringing all the time. We would be opening our, we would just be opening our hearts like left and right. Um, I lost track for a second of what I was saying. Just this idea of holding yeah. space, you know, going back to your yeah. retreat, um, we had people there with all different body types, all different um, ages. I loved it because we were all different ages from 25 to or 22 to 60 something. I mean, we were different ages and yet um, we were all learning together. And I thought that was really beautiful. We held, you made a beautiful space where we all felt totally comfortable just being us. And that's mm. so important. And so, yeah, um, for those of us, who, those of you who follow me, we um, lost my mother-in-law this la a week ago today, um, or yesterday, uh, or Thursday, and um, and then our cat passed away. So my mother-in-law, they thought she had about up to a week left. So we were all planning to go. My husband was there alone with his sister and brother and one of the sister-in-laws, and I held that sacred space for them by not being there. Like that's, yeah. that's his mother. And I respected that. And then he said, okay, I want everybody to come up on Friday night, you know, Saturday morning, Friday, whenever they could, you know. So we were all getting ready to go when we learned what happened. So mm -hmm. um, and then our cat passed away and we had this beautiful ceremony. I mean, we held a vigil around our beautiful pet of 15 mm -hmm. years, you know. And then we, we did a whole ceremony. My son put but Barbara Adagio for strings on his phone. And I mean, we were creating sacred space. We're creating beautiful space. And you can do that in the little moments of your day. You can do it having lunch with a friend. You can do it. I remember when we came back from your retreat and I knew you needed space. And, mm. and so Dan and I went out and got food for you. <laughs> like, how so you nice. I was like, I was like, I'm kind of tired. I think I need to go to bed. And then they went out and got me food. And I love, let's see, friends, I love when people feed me. Uh, so they went out and got me food. And I just like ate and laid down. Yeah, that was so good. And I would like to say, you know, the bowspring and what I teach a lot, even in my, a lot of my, you know, most of my clients are entrepreneurs. And a lot of entrepreneurs don't hold space for themselves. You're so right. Mm -hmm. So what we just did together this morning in about, you know, 15, 20 minutes is meant to, you know, connect, we hold space for one another. And yet more importantly, I believe, is that we learn how to, at any time, no matter what is going on outside of us, to hold space for ourselves, mm -hmm. to stay true to our personal vision, to take care of our body, mind system, like we've never done before. Mm -hmm. Like yes. that is the way, because when we practice with ourselves, we can hold space for millions of people if we want. That's right. But and if we can't hold space for one person, the true, the person, we cannot hold space for two people, 2,000 people, 2 million people. It's no. just not possible. 
So I love what you are doing, like, you know, what we're doing together, but what you're doing around the world with people in terms of pressure free method, it's like, that's getting them to hold more space for themselves to be Absolutely. like, okay, no matter what happens, like, I'm seriously totally okay. And I'm not going to fall off the planet. <laughs> that's right. And you know, it's fascinating how we will want this for others, but taking it for ourselves is so difficult. I mean, so much of my coaching is really letting people know that they deserve to have a beautiful life and stress hormones are going to destroy their lives, their brains, their relationships, their businesses, everything. It's when you say things and do things you later regret, you overreact. Yeah. And so that's what well, I mean. Yeah, and they're judging the feeling, right? It's, it's like, it, it really just goes down to the sense of like, um, when, 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 and I am guilty of it. So I'm not sitting here calling everybody no, up as if no, I'm, they're all guilty. Fire, I'm up on some cloud and you know, no, nah, I just had my coaching call with my call, with my coach yesterday. We had this exact same conversation. So it's the reason it's coming forward. I'm teaching you because I'm learning myself. Right. So everybody out there right now, we're not preaching, we're teaching. <laughs> we're learning too. But it's the judgment around the feeling yeah. of something. Yeah. It's like we don't want to feel something. So we're going to get on the computer. We're going to think a bunch of things. We're going to go drive somewhere. Um, because we don't want to just sit and feel how we feel, mm -hmm. we're judging it as if it's bad to feel bad. Right. Maybe it's not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a sensation. Maybe we can separate ourselves from that. Not maybe. I know when we become present, we can separate ourselves from that feeling and realize it's not us. Right. That's right. It's not us. Yeah. It's not who we are. Yeah. Who we and, truly and are. I often coach too that it's very easy to rationalize. And, um, and, oh, like, I gotta get this, I gotta get, I gotta get this list done. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta get it all done because so and so and so and so and so and so. Right, right. Okay? So, because this and this and this and this. But if I do this, then this will happen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. I'm giving you all the, I'm, I'm like being one of your clients right now. Can you tell? Yeah. Yeah. And the other is, uh, um, it's a toughie. Yeah. It's a toughie. Being angry at someone, rationalize being angry with someone and how it's tearing you apart, how it's affecting you. And so yeah. holding the space to recognize that you're not happy with what somebody's done or what they've said or something, but not triggering the stress hormones, where it's just gonna be a downward spiral. You're gonna get into an argument that might last for years. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, I sat in a room the other day and watched an argument for about 10 or 15, between about 10, 10 to 15, it was over 10, maybe less than 15. And it was <laughs> fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never like, getting okay, a solution we gotta because it's going to go on and on and on. Um, yeah. And that's what happens. We don't even know it, right? Because we're in this space of, so presence, so practicing presence. That's why the bow spring is so important because yeah. it gives you step one, radiant heart breathing, which we didn't do today. But step one is radiant heart breathing, which means rib cage circumferential expansion, expansion circumferentially circle like a circle. So the whole thing, the whole rib cage needs expanded from wide ribs, and then back ribs, and then ribs up. <laughs> but seriously, friends, you're like a superhero. You're like Wonder Woman. I mean, we got Jan at 78. I know I keep saying Janet, but I don't care. I mean, she's a uh, you know swimming her first mile. You're you know 55. You're t you're you're sending me messages like. I mean, she's not sending me nudies yet, friends. She hasn't <laughs> sent me any. But, you know, I'm no, just kidding. You know, I mean, it's like she's like she's feeling that good in her body that she'd probably be OK with it. Uh, I'm not asking for nudies. Oh, I'm just telling you. Don't don't let Pete don't don't get Pete all worried. <laughs> so, hilarious. so um, hey, Barbara. Oh, good to see you. Good, so good to see you. Yeah. So that's why this is so important. I think that what you and I do is like this one two punch. It is. It's not very good way to say it. I'm going to take that back. It's not a one-two punch, and it's not like a two kill two birds with one stone. I never like that saying, by the way, because I was I like, why would you want to kill a bird? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I guess they used to to eat them and stuff, so whatever. Um, stones. But I, this think is, you know, we, what I think what you and I do is we help people experience exponential change. It's not just linear, and it's even quantum leaps. When someone quantum. has their first breakthrough day with me in my coaching, they lift to a new level instantly instantly and 
as I coach and we help them stay there, they live there. And that that's the that then the, that's when it gets exactly. major, major. So anybody out there who sees these people, like you're sitting at your home and you're watching the internet, you're watching your Instagram, you're looking at your Twitter, whatever, I don't know, uh, Snapchat, I don't do these, some of them, but, and you're seeing other people living their lives, right? Time to live up your level, life. <laughs> up a level in their game, right? This is the kind of stuff they're doing, right? The most successful people do things to make their mind not control them, but them have control of their own mind, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. One of the women I worked with said that I helped her change the trajectory of every aspect of her life. And we were together last summer. I just saw her do a post where she's actually opening up three stores. Like she didn't even think she could have one. And now she's going to have lots. I mean, it's so cool. Yep. It's so cool when you step up and you step in and it's, Ooh, when it's you not a lot of step. work, <laughs> you know, it's gentle work. It's not it's consistent. It's consistency. Consistent. It's like, can you show up for yourself? I mean, yeah. I just want to ask everybody because it's not easy. I keep messing with my hair. I know everybody's going to wash, but my bangs I, aren't with that. Uh, now I got to, I don't know. I got to get my bangs cut. I got to do something yeah. new. I don't know. Um, feel better. <laughs> let's get crazy hair day. How about that? Okay. Let's do this because we could pause and do a picture later. I love you. I love the crap out of you. Um, I want to say something about bowspring and up-leveling. Uh, up leveling. As I mentioned this before, what did I say? Something like a cataclysmic change? Um, yes, so she I did. Had an, I had another one when I went on my writing retreat. I was doing bowspring, and I was sitting bow. I was really very into my body motion all the time. And at the end of that week, I had another up level. And it was, this time it was down in my glue area. Um, but it was just a really strong up level. And, and again, it's like a boom, practice, 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 boom, practice, practice, ha, you know, so cool. It's so true. It's so true. And well, I'm going to add a little bit here of when you say up level, I'm going to ask you, do you mean in part that you have like another level of awareness and your body is like awake, like you can actually, actually have control of and you can do things with your body that you couldn't do before? Yes. I feel, my body feels like it, um, it's capable of more. It, it feels different. Like I really feel that it is different. Not mm. what it looks like. Because I don't even have like a full length mirror in my whole house, so I don't even really know what I look like. <laughs> so, Are, do you think it's valuable to have one? Um, no, no, I don't think so. It's, I mean, I have okay. mirrors, but I, I don't, it's not a big deal. Like I, 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 it's what I feel and how, and the presence that I bring and yeah, it just really, um, yeah. So it was like a, oh my gosh, my hips are where they need to be like all day instead of just when I'm practicing, if that makes sense. Mm, really that's the, that's what, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Okay, so that's the thing. So people out there, anybody out there who's playing with us, if you're thinking about like, you know, their butt's so far back. Why is it so far back? Well, it's not from the back, so don't send it from the back, right? It's from the glutes and the, the ribs going forward and up and the glutes going back, and then the back gets a curve. So we don't curve the back. We just no. use the glutes and the ribs. Right. And what happens is, like Elle was saying, in the beginning, it's going to be hard for you because you're so, for example, sitting. You're so used to sitting on your butt and you're not meant to sit on your butt. You're meant to sit on your hamstrings, your legs. So it takes a while and she's been doing it for about six months. And now she's at a space where she's been doing it every day. She's been practicing. Not a ton. Not like, you know, going upside down and being like a monkey like me. No, right? It's not too no, crazy. Just simple stuff. Every day, consistent presence, you know, trying to remember to walk with her toes down, all of that. Yeah. And now six months later, she's at a space where she no longer has to really like think about it over and over and over. It's in her body. She's literally reshaping her body. Re your body's like clay. You can reshape it however you want. I love pretty it. Pretty much. I mean, not everyone. I mean, your faces, you're, you're going to look the way you're going to look. You're given, you know, you're not going to, some things you can't do, right? Yeah. But <laughs> you can really reshape it relative to itself. So 
we're moving towards a more hourglass figure. An hourglass figure is a very healthy shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cool. And clothes don't fit right. They don't design clothes for a healthy body. <laughs> no, the waistband of my pants is always way too big. And the booty in my pants is always a little snug. <laughs> exactly. It's really but funny. Thankfully the booty, but thank, thankfully the booty holds up the pants because the waist is too big. <laughs> so funny. Needless to say, I mostly wear pants with elastic, so it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it's true. That's And that's the um, other thing I noticed. It's like everything fits differently. Everything fits differently. Yeah. yeah, if you want a new body, this is the system for you because it's like, it's not only, you know, I've been out there, I've done, you know, physical exercises for decades, you know, for Me decades. Too. I've been a dancer, you've been doing stuff, yeah. you know, and I have, this is, I mean, I don't care, this is the wave of the future, this is going to take over, like all the regular yoga that's out there right now, it's, there's going to be a massive shift. Here I believe that. People are getting, I believe people that. People are getting injured, people, it is not sustainable. A lot of women go into hot yoga they go to work all day, run themselves down. They got a hot yoga, run themselves down. They got home, run themselves down, and they wonder why they're unhappy, right? So that this is a this is the idea of presence. Presence is not drive. Right, right. The drive. This is go slow to go fast, right? Mm -hmm. Love it. And and hey, Brad, what I want to tell just joined us. We're we're about to close yeah. up, Brad. But I want to thank you for coming on. You know, everybody who's come on here, watched our replay. You know, we, we really honor you and we want to provide space for you and come learn more with us. We do so many wonderful things for people. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's talk about that real quick. So either, anybody out there who wants some support in terms of getting presence, getting your body, getting your mind in order, you know, feeling less stress, reach out to Elle, reach out to me, reach out to one of us. We'll have a conversation. And we also have, um, we're actually in a coaching program together. We've been building uh, Elle's been building courses for quite some time. I've been building them um, um, uh, a little less time, but we've been building them together in terms of supporting each other, like really saying like, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing? How can like, how can um, you add more value to your clients? What are you doing? What's working? You know, we're, and so I have the Bowspring Body Coaching Program. You know, it's, um, you know, you, in a two month program where you can get an entirely new body. <laughs> you know, and so if, if anybody wants that same thing, reach out, I'll put a little link in the, in the comments, if you want the Bowspring body coaching program. And then I know you've got a couple programs that you've recently launched and they've been super duper successful. So yeah. will you talk about one of those? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have, um, do it yourself program. So if you're do it yourself kind of person, um, I have my big course, optimal performance, and then I have dialed in, which helps you if you have performance anxiety and fear of failure. That's the focus of that one. Then I have pressure-free body and pressure-free finance, pressure-free money, because money mm -hmm. is a huge thing that causes people stress. Money, money, money. Yep. Money. So you can check that all out on our, our websites. Just come to our websites or private message us, and we will connect you. Yeah. I love the topic of money. You know, I'm the kind of person I like to say, if you want to make more money, just spend time with me. Because I'm gonna help, I'm gonna tell you how you can, right? You're great at that. <laughs> I'm gonna encourage you to love it, right? All of that. That's what you know. It, I, I just have to bring it out even more. We had a conversation about it earlier this morning. Yeah. But most people, everybody out there right now, you got some sort of hang up around money, probably. So let's talk. <laughs> it's okay. Like uh, everybody, um, you know, when you go into a room and there's. 50 people and there's, you know, things talked about money, sex, relationships, all of that stuff. I'm so in tune with energy, right? We're so in tune with like the feeling of what's going on in the room. Money's talked about. It's the one where everybody's like, everybody gets quiet. People talk about sex. They laugh. People talk about money. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we're just going to put, we're just going to bring it to the table and say, Hey, like we, 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 we have the same, you know, past hangups that we've been working on and, yeah. and we understand that it's like a really uncomfortable conversation for a lot of people. So that's why we're here to offer space for you mm -hmm. to heal and move through and, and have beautiful experiences and love money like Ellen and I do. Yeah. It's so true. You know, both of us have had incredible successes, but we've also had incredible tough times. So we tough, tough, end. tough. I mean, we've been, uh, you know, down to $0 or under even, 
at, over the over the you know building a business ain't easy. Nope. Going and you know starting something new, moving any of that stuff. You want to do something new? It's not easy. We've been and yet here we are. Mm-hmm. Boom. So we know how to get we know how to get here from where we were. There it is. <laughs> Because we've been there. All right. I love you, babe. i got to hop on a, uh, got to meet up a client. And right. I'm really glad I got to see your face this morning. Thank you for being such a radiant soul there in Michigan. And you're spreading love all around the world. I really am grateful for your your presence in the world. I'm putting some hearts up. I need to oh! up your phone. You can put hearts and love up on there. <laughs> I don't, yeah, okay. I don't know if I can. I love you. Love you too. Have a fabulous, wonderful day. Okay. Stay pressure free. Bye. <laughs> you too. Namaste. Bye.